Good evening. I know it's probably morning where you are, but the good evening part sounds more Halloweenish. Oh look, a new word. Anyway, Hot for Words is back with another Halloweenish word. And this one was brought to you by Puppet Master 8707 and Steven Etienne. As you may have heard at the end of my last video, the howling werewolves sing me along to my theme song. And they were actually singing in key, by the way. Not an easy task when you're working with werewolves. That brought us to the word today. And the word is... Werewolf. Not now, guys! Keep it down! Those werewolves. Where was I? Oh, okay, let's investigate the origin of the word werewolf. Werewolf comes from the Old English werewolf, Dutch werewolf and German werewolf. So the wolf part obviously refers to a wolf in all of these instances. The were part is thought to come from the Old English were, which means man. So Werewolf literally translates to man-wolf. <laughs> What's interesting about the were or were part is that were and wif used to refer to man and woman. Were comes from the Indo-European wero and wero comes from the Latin virilis, as in virility meaning man, changing the v sound to a w sound. The with part was the female counterpart uh, coming from the old Saxon with and the German wave. It meant woman. The old Anglo Saxons referred to all women as a wife, not just the married ones. So today the word with survives in two words wife and midwife. What's ultimately interesting here is that the where part to refer to a man has disappeared completely from the English language, except in the word werewolf. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because werewolves still exist? Hmm. There you go, another lesson by your trusty hat for words. Okay guys, rate my video. Keep your suggestions coming, they are wonderful. I love them all. And remember to subscribe. So I'll see you all very soon, hopefully, if the werewolves or incubi or succubi would not steal you or me from you.